All right, this here is a really clean 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. I believe this was the first year of this cool little body style with the limited package in the black and gold and white and gold, I think they made them. I think they made red and gold, too. Black and gold definitely looks the most luxurious. Um, this truck is very clean. I do a lot of one and two owner automobiles. Um, I believe this one might have squeezed by as a three owner, but it was just such a nice little rig. Low mile, 103,000. Um, you couldn't pass it up. I, I, I love clean, unique, limited <laughs> uh, cars, trucks, SUVs, especially of the mid 90s, late 80s stuff. People just don't appreciate them as a classic yet. And nice clean ones, these are classics. Ain't many more options you get nowadays for 40 grand. I'm going to go up close and I'll show you any of the minor flaws on it. You can get a hold of me about it at um, Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. California car. Um, this right here looks like it came loose like they do. And it might need an extra clip back behind there or something. And a little crease there because maybe the got pushed away and stuck in there when the door opened or something. Wheel wells are clean. Clean rig. Honeycomb uh, wheels are all clean. Um, there's five of them. The spare is also a honeycomb. Probably 50-60% tread left. Underneath the truck, very clean. Good condition. You may find a wet gasket somewhere or something, but it ain't gonna leak all over your driveway or nothing. Um, these lights, you could use that uh, refinishing they do on them, where you sand them down. I got a guy that does that for 35 bucks, and they look pretty dang good when you're done with that. Um, other than that, man, just a little scuff here and there, a little scratch there. And this here uh, fog light is out. Bumpers are in great shape. Really straight rig. They say wheels are in good shape. Get you some more of the underneath here. That's the transmission nice and clean. Transfer case looks good and everything. These things are an off-road machine. You just get that transfer case type Jeep sound when you drive them. It's just, you know you're in a Jeep. This side here with the black, it's a little bit of a faded, just a bit. Especially around the doorknobs. Um, a little bit faded in here. Don't know how, where, when, why, what. But it seems like maybe the clear coat's starting to wear a little bit or something. I'm not sure. Everything looks good and, you know, it don't look like it's... See the clear coat's coming off there, right there. It doesn't look like it's been painted. It looks like somebody waxed it. And, um, that's just wax there. But it doesn't look like there's any paint lines or anything. That's like a wax line. So, I don't know. I don't think they painted it. I think it's just the factory paint getting a little old like these Chrysler's doing this year. Clean as can be. Only thing we found wrong with the car on inspection, this was a flat tire. So, as you'll notice, it's a brand new BFG on it. And um, there is five honeycombs. And we just swapped it out. So, your spare is flat. Um, but other than that, the brake booster is starting to get some kind of a vacuum problem with it and I'm putting a new brake booster on got that ordered it should be at the shop tomorrow and it'll be on and you'll have no problem with any of that little scuff right there and that's about it to show you the top you can see that the black paint kind of faded off the rack there you know we didn't do anything to the top it's clean it's not oh uh, faded or nothing and that's pretty much the outside the way I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go ahead and take you down the road in it and I'll pull up into the house there where I can get a little bit better 
look at the interior because it's hard to see the interior with the sun out here. Sure hope this is the first picture you see when you see this video, like a thumbnail. Um, check out my website, www.missoulaautoauction.com, M-I-S-S-O-U-L-A, auto, auction.com. And um, I got a lot of cars on there, a lot more that I don't even have up. I can't get these videos done fast enough even. Um, you can check out www.cerealmarshmallows.com. I sell the breakfast cereal marshmallows. And um, usually I have everything on my blog there. But I'm having a problem with my blog, so I don't know what I'm doing. I need like a seven-year-old kid to do it for me because they're pretty darn good at it, the computers. I'm learning still. Hardly any pedal wear. 103, 271. Smudge there. I don't have a carpet shampoo or something. I should buy one. I just had a lady get mad at me that bought a car. She asked me, could I please have it professionally detailed for her? And I said, I really don't have a setup for that. Well, you have to have a profession. Oh, no, no, no. This is the video. This is what the car looks like. And you'll see better here when I get up in the driveway. But I'm showing you what the stuff looks like. And I'm not putting a $200 detail on it when it's done or going to shampoo it or something. I mean, if I was going to do that, I'd do it beforehand and tell you I wanted more. And you can hear the of the brake there. It needs the um, booster fixed. These things are so powerful, you barely touch the gas and they go. The Limited's cool with all the options inside too and the wood package. Man, you go a little bit farther, that thing would have downshifted and ooh, doggy, these things are nice to drive. I like the shape of them. A lot of people look at it when you drive it and you can tell they, people like this style. And you can hear that brake booster there. And it's totally needed really soon. And we're all good for a turnaround. And these things turn on a dime. That's right up to 40 you can go just like that. I mean, bam. 5.2 liter. And I've slowed down now a little bit. It's a 40 mile an hour zone. Never like to speed in anything. Downshifts like it should, man. It drives great. The only problem is what I'm telling you about there on the brake, and it won't have that when you get it. This 59 Mercedes here is for sale. Just got it in, absolutely beautiful car. Nice as it gets. I um, just sold that Sierra, 8,000 miles on it. And that's about your test drive. Um, as far as the rest of the inside here, and you only hear that when you have your brake pushed like that. And your little trip computer. I never even messed with that. And your AC and everything's good. Loud old Jeep AC. Let's see here, there we go. Um, the stereo. There's the factory one. Infinity Gold thing. They put a system in here at some point. You can see the surround. I'll include a regular CD player for um, 50 bucks for the CD player. It's got a warranty. It's not the best one in the world, but it's a very nice one. Um, the only warning lights is right now the gas, because I foolishly didn't put any in here before I came to my dad's. Everything runs like it should. AC is nice and cold. Um, that's right. All the books are in here. And this one here, the owner's manual, the backings came apart in there, but it's good and works. It has it all there. Um, is that a iPod hookup? I think this one, no, this one didn't have the iPod hookup. Um, there's the box for the stereo. I have a shop and I give you a full warranty with it. Um, two year, I believe it is. And see the little smudge right there? That would come off somehow, I'm sure. I haven't even tried. Um, the seats are in great shape. I'm gonna go ahead and get out here, pop the hood. 
show you that and show you the rest of it. Door panels, beautiful shape. I know the dinger is annoying. I'll have it shut in a second here. Leather seating is in great condition. No rips or tears. The piping is split right there. If that really bugs you, it could be fixed, but yeah. And I try and put in my ads, watch the video, watch the video, watch the video. I mean, if there's, it's hard to show every little detail in pictures. In a video, it seems to be a little easier for me to show the cars. Seats are in great shape. Floors are in great shape. Oh, headliner. It's got a few smudges on it. Nothing real serious. But you can tell where it's falling down right there. I'll show you that better. And then they drug something out right there and kind of put a little smudge in it here. Some kind of, some kind of almost stain there. And show you in the back here. Struts are good. You got this piece that you can pull over. A few little tears at the top of the seat there. Looks like they were carrying stuff in here. And it kind of hits up. There's where that's. No big deal, but it is. Oh, um, 100 and. What is it? 100 and, 150 to 185, and I can get you a brand new headliner put in here. You just let me know, and I'll do that. No problem. Oh, wow. This, they have a little part in here that doesn't. You can have it if you want it, but it's just a piece for a building or something. A couple stains, and like I say, it needs to be shampooed or something. I'm sure a lot of it would come out. I just don't have the means to do that. This missing the rubber piece here, like this. You can buy these. This one's popped out a little ways. And that's the inside back here. Really clean. Power windows, everything. Oh, glad I touched that just right. Top to the ashtray thing there loose. Probably just glued on. I don't even think they put ashtrays on cars nowadays. Uh, let me get this out of the way here. And that floor mat I just got in there to where I don't track dirt all over your car. Um, 103-271. Center console and everything. Oh, I wanted to show you something on that, too. Once again, Nathan, 406-544-6919. This car's a steal. And I know it's an SUV. Dash isn't all cracked up or nothing. Man, these things usually have two, three hundred thousand miles on them. A couple little smudges here that are lighter colored. No, that wasn't a toot. Very nice on the carpet. Now, I don't know what this piece is. Um, I left it Chrysler stamped. I thought it was part of my vacuum at first, but some kind of vintage, vintage, <laughs> vent stuff somewhere. It's in great shape. This is what I wanted to show you on the center console. It doesn't really scratch off. So, maybe some serious cleaner or something. I don't know. But that is some kind of... Oh, uh, some kind of paint or something dripped in there. I don't know. Just right limited to that area, though. Great shape. Oh, very discolored on that plastic piece. They all do that. Okay. Now I open so many hoods on so many different kinds of cars. By the time it gets down to it, I don't remember where the little catches are. And it's all good as far as the hinges staying up. These are great motors. And this one hasn't been all molested and hacked apart. It's in great shape. And see this, I get um, rebuilt batteries. I put a rebuilt battery in it. Um, 1811. All the light works up there.
And I don't know if he broke the cap, it just got old. But that was on there, and I need to get that fixed. So, that all get done. Fluid all looks great on the truck. That's about it, man. I'll tell you, if you want to clean one of these, this is it. You're going to be hard-pressed to find a nicer, cleaner one in black. Besides the obvious, you see the fog light out there in front. I told you about that. And um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I missed. If you see something I missed, put a message up. I appreciate it. I want to be as upfront and honest as I can on these. I'm um, long ways away from you, most likely, and I ship stuff all over the world. Be more than glad to help you export um, into your country. Nathan, area code 406 544 6919. You can reach me anytime, call anytime. It don't matter if it's day or night. I'm always up trying to buy or sell something. Uh, website www.serialmarshmallows.com or missoulaautoauction.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And make sure and subscribe to my channel. I have over a hundred and ninety.